Leading local, the North Dakota Senate has passed a bill this morning banning critical race theory in K-12 schools. Reporter Maddie Beer Temple is live now at the Capitol with an update on that vote. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Alicia. The Senate passed the bill by vote of 38 to 9, and the House passed it 76 to 16. Those opposing the bill say it bans something that isn't happening, shelters kids from critical thinking, and erodes the local control of school boards. The vast majority supporting it, however, argue it's an evil ideology that will have serious political consequences down the road. We're not saying that this is being done, but like I said, this bill is more preemptive to try to make sure that it doesn't come to our schools. We're trying to be proactive on this, and, and that's you know, what the bill's intended to do. We have kids who have died by suicide and overdose this school year. Those are the real issues that schools are dealing with, and this is what we're talking about. The bill will head to the governor's desk next for his signature or veto. And the Senate this morning also passed a bill requiring businesses that mandate vaccines to offer several alternatives to employees. That includes an option to show antibodies, submit to periodic testing, or get a religious or medical exemption. The bill does not apply to employees who fall under President Biden's executive order, including hospitals and nursing homes, federal workers, and businesses with more than 100 workers. Senators debated the bill at length before passing it 33 to 14. Senator Kristen Roars said as a conservative, she doesn't like putting mandates on businesses, but as a healthcare worker, she sees the benefit of the vaccine daily. Working as a charge nurse, working with COVID patients, I've seen the benefit of this vaccine. I can walk into a room and tell you if they're vaccinated without even looking at their medical record. And the reason is I can walk in and say, you're 90 and you need two liters of oxygen, I bet you're vaccinated. I walk in and you're 44 like I am, and you're air hungry and starving for oxygen, you're not vaccinated. And that bill passed the House 80 to 11 last night, and it'll head to the governor for his signature or veto next. Back to you, Alicia. All right, so much happening today. Thank you so much, Maddie, for those updates.